let's continue so that place is darkness and we are light we need to shine in darkness so god prepares me spiritually and physically before going to the club to preach mm -hmm. also as i am there i am in constant communication with god god leads me on where to go and where not to go god tells me when to look away and when not to look away god leads me on who to talk to and not talk to like i'm in constant communication with god i am focused i'm dancing but i am focused on god i am preaching and dancing but i am focused on god like if god has sent you to the club to preach like me hmm, stay in constant communication with him because the devil is mad that that you are there and it will do everything to try to distract you say no to distractions say no to indecent dancing look away when others are dancing indecently so it won't poison your soul like i went to the club recently god was leading me you know directing me like when to dance when to preach and it was dance time right and i was dancing so confidently at the front like in front of the dj like that's a miracle that's the spirit of god like whenever i go to the club i just stay at the back and dance because i'm shy but now god has given me confidence to stand in front and dance without caring what people think also it's an opportunity to let people know how to act in the club dance decently not government body with guys also as i was dancing some girls they left their men to dance with me because i was dancing real dance you know not rubbish dance they enjoyed the club because they were actually dancing like you are a leader no matter where you are god used me to lead them to dance real dance dance decent dance not dancing so close to men but real dance you know like there was this particular guy dancing indecently with a girl then he came to me and said he wanted to dance with me and i told him no politely and he listened thank god then he came the second time and i said no again the later he came the third time and i said no again politely and he left then god told me do you notice this guy came three times to you i was like yes and god said hmm it's like jesus the devil came three times to him and he passed the test same for you you said no three times and that was a test wow hmm. so don't compromise don't say oh because you said no to this guy the first and second time let me just give him a chance the third time no 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 you want to dance sinfully no so don't compromise no is no so when god told me i passed the test i was like what that was a test <laughs> and god said yes look god said he was showing me how to say no be confident to say no don't be afraid to say no like say no to what god says no to very important like you will save yourself a lot of trouble like don't be afraid to hurt other people's feelings for your sanity no is no you are protecting yourself another thing satan came up with the word abortion it's not from god so stop aborting babies like it's not god's idea however when you got pregnant do not abort it ask god for forgiveness and after baby like it's kind of like god's dream like god gives you a dream you are pregnant with it satan's goal is for you to abort that dream if he can't get you to abort it he will try to make you to run ahead of god and give birth early premature birth that's a disaster that's why you see some churches when they see that someone can sing they promote them to be a minister too early like and the person is too immature to undo that role and they make a moral mistake and the whole world is judging christians their phonies you know 
so the church did not allow the person to grow so it's kind of like nine months pregnancy the moment a church sees that you have a gift the first month instead of them to let you develop that gift keep learning so you can give birth to that dream in nine months nope they make you give birth to that dream like in three months but it's not ready so they make you run ahead of god they put you in a minister position then you make a moral mistake then the whole world judging that minister saying he or she is a phony like well like seriously they are not they just run ahead of god they did not take the time to go through the process of god so let the holy spirit train them some more like the church just like push them out you know another one i'm pregnant yes i'm pregnant with god's dream like this pregnancy is so uncomfortable i got to keep preaching it's kind of like when pregnant with a baby you know when you are due you can't wait to get the baby out it's so uncomfortable same with me same with my first book like i remember when god laid it so much on my heart i did not care how tired i was like i would come back home from work take a quick nap and keep writing even when my laptop charger was not working properly i would twist that wire and make it work mm -hmm. then i would kneel on the floor and write god's book with god because hmm, like first of all i remember doing that like i remember doing that like 2 a.m in the morning i was kneeling and writing because it got to a point that if my laptop charger removed hmm, my laptop would turn off so i was like devil you are a liar i'm writing this book today this book must go out today i don't care if this laptop charger is bad i'm writing this book today so i knelt down from like 2 a.m to 6 a.m i mean it was crazy i actually forgot i was kneeling down by the time i was done hmm, i was so afraid that my knee would hurt when i get up you know so i tried getting up from the ground and i did not feel any pain no leg pain no back pain wow that was a miracle like god protected my body while i was kneeling and walking like it's the grace of god able to do what you cannot do in your power you see holy spirit holy spirit is our helper so god's book was so on my mind that i could not procrastinate it i was pregnant like when i don't write i get so uncomfortable i got to get this baby out so i said no to hanging out with friends because the only time i had to write that book was my free time see when you are pregnant with god's vision hmm, it gets uncomfortable you wake up in the middle of the night and record that video and write that book like it's the spirit of god god's divine sperm is in me god's divine sperm is in us first john 3 9 amplified version we are pregnant with god's vision even if i want to stop preaching online i can't stop because i'm pregnant with it when i don't preach what god says to preach i get so uncomfortable i can't sleep because that baby wants to come out so think about it when you are in labor you can't sleep all you want to do is get that baby out same for me get that word out get that testimony out get that book out it is holy spirit helping us to give birth and as soon as i share that word i feel more peace because i did what god told me to do i relax better i smile better i watch movies better because i have this sense of peace that i did what god said also i feel god god is proud of me like my relationship with god is smoother and clearer the more i obey him and say what he says i should say another thing the guy will continue in the next video